start off just a little disappointed with our play in the first half. We opened up the game two for 14 from the field. I thought we got good looks, um, but there's got to be a more accountability um, with our players for their play. There just does. Um, obviously, didn't play KD tonight. Uh, he's available for the weekend. Uh, that was my decision. Um, we uh, It was great to see Trey Donaldson um, step up. Uh, again, what I had done was, you know, Chance had a great summer and was one of our very best guards. And so when he got back to uh, where he, you know, he missed the entire fall, had the surgery, and then when he's ready to play, I, I, I gave Chance that opportunity. Um, and he struggled a little bit at that point guard position. We played him at a little bit too today. Um, and um, just... He's just not physically ready, you know. Um, but it was great to see Trey come out and both make plays offensively and defensively, and um, and and obviously the guys were very very excited about it. Your Jalen Williams was the best player on the floor, um, and Jalen Williams is capable of being the best player on the floor. Jalen Williams, you know, needs to act like it all the time, accept it, um, relish it, and. Um, See if he can play better. See if he can do more. Um, this team in the last three games against Colgate, Memphis, um, and now Georgia State is not playing well enough to beat the teams left on our schedule. We have got to improve in order to beat the teams that are left on our schedule. The, 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 we, the last three games that we've played, um, we have not played well enough to be able to continue to win. And there's got to be a level of accountability uh, for our players to be able to make plays on both ends of the floor. What's that? Rebounding that area that Williams can pick up. Yeah, we uh, not very physical. Uh, didn't get 50-50 balls. Uh, Georgia State was quicker to the ball than we were, faster, more athletic. Our athletes have got to show up. Bruce, um, Wendell left the game a little early there. Do you know what's going on with him? And then how tough is it to not have KD out there with him being one of your more emotional leaders? Well, and KD's speed and quickness and athleticism obviously would help. Um, you know, KD's one of our best players. So um, obviously he'd make, he makes a difference for us. Um, yeah, Wendell turned his ankle and will be evaluated. Probably be out. Probably be out a couple of days. Mark Murphy, Bruce, would you like to see Jalen be more aggressive, sort of handing the ball out there? Yeah, I'd like to see Jalen be more aggressive on both ends of the floor with everything. He's a, he's a really good player. He can score it. He can pass it. He can put the ball on the floor. He can defend multiple positions. He can rebound the ball. He needs to just continue to assert himself. Bruce, you, you said um, the, the play you guys to play last week isn't good enough to win. How do you get good enough? We'll work at it. If I had if I had that answer, then we'd be playing play better than the last three games. So I obviously I obviously don't have that answer. What I said was I think our players need to have a level of accountability. That's the best way to do it. I know they can play better. I know they're better, but they've got to show it on both ends of the floor. Trey, I think, played three minutes total the past three games, a couple of times where he didn't play. You talked about staying right and ready. That, that's a message that, that has you know, been part of your program since you've been here. It's always been a message. Uh, the team and Trey always understood why his his minutes were, were given out to Chance and a few others. And just like he got the opportunity. Now, that's the best Trey's played. But Trey also has practiced really well. And I had told Trey, even, even before KD wasn't playing, I had told Trey that he was going to be in the rotation. I was ready to go back and give him, you know, give him that shot. And the bottom line is he took advantage of it when he's out there on the floor. And that's what players have to do. And so, you know, it's possible we could shorten some things up a little bit because if you're not out there being productive, it's kind of hard for me to have you out there. 
numbers you guys, uh, season low and three-point attempts, and you guys also had a ton of points in the paint in the second half. Is, is that more of kind of what you want this offense to look like right now? You know what? Georgia State took the air of the ball, and, and, and as they do, that's what they do. They're patient offensively. Now, typically, they'll run more actions and shoot it late in the clock, but running more actions would have worn them out. So as well, they just sort of stayed at the top of the floor, kind of whatever, whatever, whatever. And then they went into some downhill stuff. And you know what? We were able to, we were able to guard them okay. Um, you know, they shoot 37% for the game, 31 in the second half. You know, they're not a great three-point shooting team. They had a few in the first half. Our defense was okay. So I'm not sure I answered your question. We'll give me to the question again. Yeah, but, yeah, offensively, you guys had a ton of points in the, the second half. Didn't take as many three-pointers as that. Well, I mean, they played some zone and they mixed in some zone, and 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 so we were able to get it inside a little bit more. I thought we had advantage inside with Janai and with Jalen on the inside, Dylan, and took advantage of it. Alex, so with overall with Trey Dawson's play tonight, what do you perceive his uh, role looking like moving forward as far as just he'll play some more. He, he'll he'll play some more. Question the bias. So specifically, it probably will back up when, and and then we'll see. I also played him at some two tonight because he was playing so well. So we'll see. Last question, the bias. Oh, uh, Bruce, you mentioned Chance earlier, not quite being there. That's just a time thing as far as him get back with the injuries or something, something else. Or what's wrong with that? I mean, uh, Chance is recovering from his surgery. Right. He's not. Um, playing as well as he did this summer. Coach, you want to just talk about the toy drive? Yeah, so uh, toys for tots, uh, 2,000 2, gifts. 2,000 gifts. Um, and again, once again, the Auburn family just continues to respond. I mean, I know it's one thing you say, come on now, everybody bring an unwrapped gift. I bet you some of you guys brought gifts. I bet you did. And, I, and I'm grateful. And my, my wife bought a bag of gifts. We did. And that's what makes this place so cool. So thanks, thank you guys. And thanks to the people that showed up. And I just think how cool is it for the, for the, for the people that are running that program to take these gifts to all these kids that probably wouldn't be getting gifts without it. So, great job. That's that's Auburn being Auburn. Thanks, Bruce. Okay, thanks.